I'm Gail Johnson, the founding director of Nkosi's Haven, and we actually celebrating our 21st birthday in April. We started uh, with one house in Berea, and um, then got two houses, and now we have the Nkosi Haven village. Nkosi always wanted the mother and child unit to be kept together because he was separated from his mom because of the HIV virus. Those moms that are well, we employ internally, so mothers run the kitchen, the sick bay, the bakery. So we're a facility of mothers and children. Uh, running costs about 435,000 a month. We're getting, we have uh, one corporate who supports us on a monthly basis and that is fabulous. But we need more. So we're not getting government support from DSD and that's not without trying. So it's, it's stumbling block after stumbling block after stumbling block. I have decided to become an HIV activist to try and make people who have a stigma against it, to try and make them understand that, yes, I might be HIV positive, but you see, you're also the same. The way this place helped me, I wish it could help others. So if it had to close down, that would, oh, that would be like a bad, horrible thing because it's, it's home.